you welcome 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 i say to our live stream for this wednesday evening now we've a lot to talk about tonight and i've always always there's so little time to do it in so it's great to have you with us and a very very warm welcome and uh, you come and tell me what's going on here oh my goodness there's gavan joining us how amazing is that fantastic stuff guys i can't believe just how successful this stream has been and remember you shouldn't really um not follow scotty mcclue anyone with a tiktok account can follow scotty mcclue hey brother good to see you hey brother Thank you do, Gavan. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Remember, if you're scrolling through the lives, this is TikTok's top talk show. And you should come and join us. Just stop. Stop scrolling and come and join us. That's what it's all about, I say. There's Callum joining us as well. Tremendous. Now, I did pop up earlier just to say hi. So the eagle-eyed ones amongst you would have spotted that. Up the Royal Artillery, says Callum. Yes, sir. We salute the Gunners, an excellent regiment of the British Army. Well done to you. Now then, uh, as soon as you spot this, come on, give us your chat. Follow us. Very, very important that you follow us when you come on. That is very much appreciated. Obviously, the we troll. Um, Dinky-doo from Court Bridge, Scotty. Yes, indeed. Dinky-doo, Scotty. How are you this evening? Lord Steve, lovely to hear from you. And Dinky-doo. Um, so proud to be here, Gavan. It's always lovely to have you with us because I think people haven't quite realized just how big this live stream is on TikTok. And they're sort of not used to anything of this caliber just popping up that they're free to join. So they think, I wonder if we should muck about with this like we do with all the other lives. And the answer is, of course, no. Scotty, the man himself, absolutely have a great day ghostly cheese what an incredible handle welcome 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 i say lovely to have you with us of course and um oh there's adam hughes sending me tiktoks adam thank you very very much for that that's extremely kind of you you're so kind folks good evening scotty hello ij good sir yes indeed did you do hi hi caitlin good to have you with us may i ask a question says adam yes of course all right scotty how life is treating you kareem from glasgow has come on and sent tiktoks a wonderful wonderful man and incredibly generous Hi, Scotty. How are you from Kareem? Kareem, excellent. How are things going with you? Always good to hear from you. And welcome, welcome, welcome. A wonderful afternoon, Scotty. Absolutely, Jamie. Never a dull moment on here, I say. And great to have you with us live on TikTok. Well done. Um, come join us, folks. Follow us as soon as you come on. Thank you, Jamie. Very much appreciated for the following. As soon as you come on, guys, follow, follow, follow because we need to build up our followers on TikTok. Very, very important. And uh, we have so many viewers, and yet we've got so many viewers, you know, and yet here we've got, uh, I think it's about 11,500 followers. That should be up at maybe four or 500,000 followers by now so think about that absolutely excited about the euros yes any football on tonight guys a uh, favorite irish dish well, it's got to be a nice irish stew with irish potatoes tremendous we love that and a little bit of the broccoli fantastic now who have we got here uh, two seconds. I think, have I spotted a troll? I may have spotted a troll. Let me just see what's going on here, guys. There we go. A wee troll down the river. Everybody watching? Here we go. Have we got him? Have we got, yay! Troll is gone. Fantastic. From river to sea. Yes, indeed, Ibrex. So if you could meet yourself at 18, what advice would you give? Um, I think go into radio before television. I started kind of a different way around, a different route to broadcasting. I started right on the television, right away there, and it would have been good to have it a bit of radio experience. Do follow us, guys. Have a wee chill because of the showers. Ah, Karim, I know what you mean. Do you know, though, Karim, there is no such thing as a chill? 
Yes, you might be cold, but there's no such thing as a chill medically, I believe. Uh, Scotty, what's your favourite book behind you? Oh, all of them. Yes, that's why I have them, because they're fascinating. Are you having a whiskey tonight, Scotty? I shouldn't think so. I haven't had one for about seven years. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be starting tonight. <laughs> now, what phone do you have? I don't know what it's called. It's a kind of own name. Slava Ukraine, Slava Ukraine, lovely to have you with us, Stalson. Scotty, what do you think about the madness in Israel? I think it's shocking, and both sides need to stop it right now. Right this second, McClue has speak, right? Stop firing rockets at each other and listen to the diplomats. Uh, mate, can I get a shout out? Yes, a massive fan of your voice. Absolutely, you No bother at all. Uh, now, who have we got here? Hello, kind sir. Hope you're doing well. Dinky do, Scotty McClure. Long John Terry here, checking in once again. Fantastic. Good answer. Thank you, Adam. Hello there. Hello there, Nathan. Jesus loves you, Christian. Jesus doesn't just love me. He adores me. And I adore Jesus. I'm off to Braemar, then Mull for the weekend on the Harley with the boys and girls, can't we? Good stuff, Mark, well done, sir. Just remember, don't go too crazy. Keep your social distancing. What are your pronouns, Ruby? We're far too modern for pronouns on here. Yes, we feel pronouns. Asking about pronouns is divisive. I know you don't mean it that way, but it's very divisive because it creates a them and us, whereas we're all inclusive on here, you see. Scotty, where did your career start? Oh, my career, Callum. Oh, my goodness me. That started way, 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 way back. I was in opera. I was in the theatre. I was in banking with a B. I was uh, on television. I was on radio. So way, way, way back, you see. Are you teach? Total now, Scotty, you're just off the whiskey. No, I gave up the booze one Christmas because I wanted to drive the car at any time of the day or night, and I couldn't be bothered doing all the fancy calculations. How many units? When would that be clear? How many hours and days? Blah, blah, blah. I thought, do you know what? Give it up, and then if the police stop you and breathalyze you, you're going to be clear. You know, not a problem. Jesus loves you, dinky do. Um, hello, more last, dinky do. Now, who have we got here? Any more news on the new radio show, Scotty? Nothing as yet, Johnny boy, Johnny. I think perhaps COVID may well have put paid to that one. But there we go. We shall see. Now, are you well tonight, Scotty dinky do? Uh, how do you... Can't see what that is. Um... Can you show us your, what voice? Um, hello again, kind sir, dinky do. Gordon, dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Evening, Duke of Dundee. Oh, hey, hey, I'm starving, I'm off for a pay. Uh, what was your first car? My first car, Jamie, was a 1952 Austin Somerset with column change. Lovely thing. Oh, and you could just bonnet it along the road with the flying A. Lovely, lovely car. Fantastic. 1952, 525 by 16 uh, tiles. Are you Scottish, Mason Panda? I suspect I might be. Well done. Nothing gets past you, Sherlock. We like that. Um, now, how do you... What's that stuff? Pierce, how do you get your dad to care about you? Pierce, regardless of what dads might say, they care deeply about their sons. There we are. Fantastic. So please do not worry. I have no doubt your dad will care for you. Oh, a classic, a nice car. Well, that was it. That was it. Well, it was only about 20 years old at the time, you see. So there we are, maybe 21. Fantastic car, though. I mean, it's it only had a 1,200cc engine because the 1950s, after World War II in Britain, a lot of cars were known as austerity motoring.
You see, British governments love austerity, but they've always got plenty of money for themselves, I see. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We need to build up our followers. We have a lot to talk about and so little time to do it in. And I think, uh, you know, people are not used to something of this caliber on TikTok where they can actually get into the chit-chat with a grown-up, you know, that sort of thing. What age are you now, Scotty? Well, we don't know N90. We know I'm at least 28 years Earthside, but I may be 2 million because, you see, I'm a time traveler. And that's the whole thing about it. Follow us, guys, as soon as you come on. What's the benefits of being friends with you? Well, I suppose knowing one of the best-known people in the world is never going to go amiss. Apparently, two billion people know Scotty McClue. So you'll have to decide if you want to be friends with me. If you want to be friends with me, obviously, there are huge benefits. But it depends on just how big your thinking is. You need to think big if you're hanging around with McClue clue. There we are. Now, Joss, I don't want to ban you for being silly, but I will do, but I'm going to let you go just now. My son's called Austin after my dad's car in 1937. Baby Austin. Yes, the baby Austin. Incredible little car, the Austin 7. There we are. I'm Irish, says Pierce. Of course, Pierce. We're all Irish. Do you enjoy a nice chilled pint of iron brew? Well, I tend not to uh, drink uh, too many fizzy drinks, but I do love iron brew. Uh, do you collect postage stamps? No, but my father did. Yes, my father collected. And then some dirty, filthy little midden got into the house once, broke in, and took his album. <coughs> terrible, terrible. How the devil are you, young man? We're very well, thank you. Hey, bro, Malaysian here. Hello, Malaysian, lovely. Not everyone is Irish. Yes, everyone's Irish. We all, well, we're originally all African. And then we came via Ireland to uh, to Europe. So there you go. So we are all effectively Irish. Can we be friends, please, Scotty? Well, of course, absolutely. So there we go. Not a problem at all. What happened to the picture of you and your dog, Scotty? Well, um, he's not here. You see, we're in a different part of the bedsit. So there you go. We're in the library at McClue Towers tonight. Um, say hi. Uh, no, TikTok. I think that's just a bridge too far for the world. So we'll say bye. Can we say bye, please, to TikTok Stefan? Are we ready, guys? Watch him go down the swanee. Woo! Lovely. That's all we want, Dinky do. Fantastic. End of day that comes on is racist, is rude, by gone. No place on here. I can tell you. Beat it, Stefan. He's gone. I wonder if he was from Stefan in Sky. <laughs> Greetings, old boy. How are thee? Dinky do, old boy. Lovely to have you with us as well. What's your favorite flavor of crisp? Do you know, I don't want to sound a bit dull, but I am a ready salted man. Although I have been known to chance a wee smoky bacon to a wee apple cider vinegar and uh, and and sea salt uh what else have we risked um we've tried some of the others the smoky bacon of course do, do you remember the tomato sauce they were an interesting one. Scotty, my good man, cheers from Boston. We love you in Boston, dinky-doo in the United States of America. A simple man with class. Oh, L, you're such a lovely person. Thank you. Because you can't buy class, can you? And you can never own anything. You can only curate it. We know that for starters. There we are. Do come and join us, guys. As soon as you joined us, follow, follow, follow. Very short and follow us. And can some to be dispatched apparently if you tap my head up at the top left hand corner you can check out all the tiktok videos i would love somebody to go and like them all well i'd love you all to go and like them all hello from ireland hello ethan lovely to have you with us from the emerald isle follow us follow us follow us guys as soon as you possibly can very very much appreciated we have so much to get through tonight and so little time to do it in if you're scrolling through you stop because you've arrived at where you should be in your life. 
and nobody should not be following Scotty McClue. There's a spider on your shoulder. Of course there is. There's always a spider on my shoulder. It's amazing. You must be septic if you've been able to see it. It's a present from Robert the Bruce. Do you remember Smith's Chris? I love Smith's Chris. Salt and Shake. Thoughts on Palestine. They need to stop firing at each other and killing innocent children. There we are, an innocent people. Scotty, nice to see you again, young man. Dinky do. Can you say hi to my boys, James and Josh? I can indeed. Mr. McClure, a spider in your wallet? No, no. A moth in my wallet. In with two George V notes. <laughs> there we go. Fantastic. Do come and join us as soon as you possibly can. Uh, I'm going to have a wee sip of the water, you see. Mm. Oh, that's lush. We have all the facilities here, guys. All the mod cons, I can tell you. There's more in your wallet. That's right. Yes, I don't want to open it in case they get out and get in and eat my jumper again. Hello from Edinburgh, from Jamie. Hello, Jamie. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. We love Edinburgh. Follow us as soon as you come on, guys. Share the video. Tap my face at the top there. And... Um, like all of the TikTok videos. I've made them specially for you. They're very, very rare, and they are superb. Israel or Palestine? They both exist, Rory, and um, I love them both. Uh, you know, they are not mutually exclusive. They need to stop fighting each other. Because if you think about it, remember, Jesus Christ was a Jew until he started his own faith. Christianity, and he was also from Palestine. Man was born in Palestine and lives today in bread and wine. And I think that everybody, the Israelis, the Palestinians, they all need to remember that, stop bombing each other and firing rockets and all that sort of stuff, and get round the table with the diplomats. So there we are, and it's all very well shouting free Palestine or up Israel or anything like that. That's not going to sort out the problem, guys. We need to get round the table. Scotty McClure would travel to speak to them all. There we are. Sorry, Scotty, I have to go. Pierce, not at all. You're very welcome. Lovely to have you with us. Hello from Bont Island. Tell me, Bont Island, do you know Aberdour? or Aberdour, how do you actually say it? I'd like to know. Can you go, say happy birthday to my friend? He's a big fan. Yes, I can. There's a guy saying he's gay. You don't need to tell anybody that on here because we're all inclusive. Good evening, Scotty Dinky Do Lovely to have you with us, Phil. Uh, Lahoub, there we are. There's Lahoub coming on. What's he up to tonight? Tell anybody that on here because we're all inclusive. Good evening, Scotty. There we are. There's Lahoop coming on. What's he up to tonight? Can you say thank you for making dinner tonight? Yes, I can. Thank you to Alex. Why must innocents suffer because leaders disagree? They never, ever should. The leaders need to get together. By the time there's violence, the politicians have failed and should resign. Can you say a happy birthday? Yes, indeed. Yes, I can. No problem at all. Now, come and join us, guys. Tell me if you can see the TikTok videos. I got told earlier, because I didn't know how you find them. A guy was asking, where do I find your videos? And apparently, if you tap my, my picture, then you get it there. Fantastic. Guys, I'm not going to comment on fast food places. Go, Scotty. Love ya. Dinky do, guys. Follow us as soon as you come on. There we go. Raw dog. We don't discuss that. Can I get a badge, man? There's the badges for Scotty McClue. Wait, and I'll just show you this. You will love this. Fantastic. Right. Are we ready? A badge for Scotty McClue. <laughs> Did you see it? Hang on a minute. How's that? Have you got it there, guys? Oh, the lights are shining on it. Sorry. A bit bright. There we are. Can we see that? Scotty McClure says, Dink you do to you. What's your favorite breed of dog, Scotty? I love all breeds of dogs. 
I've had terriers and Labradors all my life, but I do love the Labradors, love the Red Setters, love the West Highlands, love the Jack Russells. Ah, oh, stop! There we go. Scotty, have you been up Glen Cole? It's a nice place to visit. It's very haunting, because all, all the murders in Glen Cole. Very haunting, and uh, it's it's very bleak, but very stunningly beautiful in a wild way. Well worth a look. Um, happy with the votes? Yes, delighted with the votes. Very, very good. Obviously, we'd have liked 100%, but uh, no, no, that's good. That's excellent stuff. PMSL, I choose Scotty, dinky-doo. Ishmael, dinky-doo. You're allowed to do that. That's not a problem at all. There we are. Can you say hi to James, please? He's listening. He's a huge fan. Sarah, I can indeed, yes. Favourite book behind you? Ooh, all of them. Tremendous books there. Uh, you know, and a great read, I always say. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, share the video, guys. Now, here's somebody shouting, King Billy, we are the people. I would shout King Billy very quietly, even if you're an orange man because King Billy was a very, very, very bad man. So, mum's the word about King Billy, you know. Although, when they brought him over, they did tell him how things were going to be, and that he was going to be a constitutional monarch and not an absolute monarch. So there we are. But uh, no, no, uh, King Billy was a very bad man. But I don't want the Orange all worrying about that, you know, that they're following a baddie because um, Queen Anne was a baddie in that she forced the Union through and that's why Scotland suffered for 313 years. So there we are. Is that not amazing? Hello again from the Netherlands. Ha! Yeah! Come in the house, Wiltshire, cup of tea happen. I'm wearing mine clomping. Uh, he won the battle in 1690. Yeah, it was really more of a skirmish. It wasn't actually a battle. They talk about the Battle of the Boyne, but it was a skirmish, you know. And then afterwards, they forced through the act of succession. That was Queen Anne, though. And I, I was very annoyed at King William for pulling the money out on the Darien scheme or the Darien scheme in the Isthmus of Panama. Opinions of Sheffield United, we love them. God bless Mary, Queen of Scots. Now, opinions on Sir Alex Ferguson, wonderful, wonderful man. Perhaps the finest football manager ever, you know? I mean, Alex Ferguson, who else have we got? Jock Steen, Matt Busby, you know, these kind of great, great, great managers. Uh, Scotty, I found you on YouTube. So there, you're talking to Rob. Hilarious man. Yes, get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube. You're a very intelligent man, Scotty. Susie, babe, you're such a lovely person. That's very kind of you to say that. Opinions on Leeds United. Well, I always get a bit Leeds United when we're live on the TikTok. I think it's absolutely fantastic. Yes, I'd like a cup of tea. I'm wearing my clumps. You're clumping. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. If so, Vilcha, go put the heaven. Yeah, yeah, tea. <laughs> Fantastic. Scottish independence of the United Kingdom. Well, we've had a United Kingdom for 313 years. Scotland's been independent for thousands of years, and we've had just a bad experience, a blip. We need to get back and get clear of that. Hello from the Orkney Islands. So I love this. He's obviously not a Rangers man. That's nothing to do with it. You see, I might well be a Rangers man. I might be a Celtic man. I might be a, an, an Aston Villa man. You don't know Nottingham Forest. There we go. I might be a Nottingham Forest man. You know, you can't tell by just telling the truth about King William. There we go. He was a very bad man. Check it out. Opinions of Nicholas Sturgeon, first-class politician, you know, and a wonderful, wonderful performer. I mean, she has won in the face of every media outlet, bar maybe a couple, being turned against her, twisting her words, trying to embarrass her, being difficult. She's passed every single test. Incredible lady uh, and wonderful politician and an excellent first minister. 
you know, and I see that being totally apolitical. I don't have any politics, you know. If I thought staying in the Union was the best thing for Scotland, that's what I would do. But I'm afraid it's not. Mon the hoop, says La Hoop. If you say Mon the hoops, La Hoop, I have to say in the interest of balance, up the jazz. We are the people. There we are. Scotty, um, I like it when you give us a bit of education in some fields. Susie, yes. Life is all about information, education, and entertainment. That's the one. Fantastic. So who have we got here? Did you vote Brexit or no Brexit? Gordon, why would I vote Brexit? Brexit is the biggest act of self-harm this country's done to itself since World War I. You know, for goodness sake, we're going to end up with economic annihilation and the political fragmentation of the United Kingdom. So your separatists are the Brexiteers at Westminster. That's your separatists, dinky-do. And with you, Scotty, how do we finance ourselves? David, we give £75 billion a year to Westminster. All our stuff that we produce and trade is stamped with a union flag, so they don't know it comes from Scotland. We're the biggest suppliers of oil, of renewable energy, of food, of drink. We are the larder of the United Kingdom, the breadbasket, you know. We uh, trade with Europe, have traded with Europe for thousands of years. We've always financed ourselves. Again, it was King William that pulled the plug on the bank. Yes, he was supposed to be financing Darian or Darian or the Darian scheme. Fantastic. Now, Honk, Soph, I don't want to ban you, but uh, you need to be having a think about being silly. Let's do more grown-up stuff. Do you want to be independent? Well, I think it's inevitable now because Scotland needs to get on and rebuild its economy and not be stuck you know, with a ball and chain. You know, Margaret Thatcher was the last Tory to suck the life out of Scotland. Every last bit of breath she tried to suck out of Scotland so that London looked good. London had all the business. You know, the South East had all the business. Everybody voted for Thatcher. Great. Well, didn't, wasn't she wonderful? 11 years of it. You know, but the North of England and Scotland had the, the breath sucked right out of them. So they were, uh, no, we're not better together. Scotland is not better together. From England's point of view, it might be better together because, you know, that sort of thing. We love Maggie Thatcher. Of course, everybody adores Maggie Thatcher, even although she ruined four countries. Uh, so there we go, not a problem. Maggie Thatcher is awful, says so God. <laughs> better together, SW, there's no case for being better together. It's nice to shout it, you know, in the way you'd shout on the hoops or up the chairs, better together. But the truth, sadly, is that Scotland is not better as part of the UK. In fact, there is no de facto case for remaining in the UK, although we must keep the monarchy. And I'm worried about some Scots that need educating on how this country runs. Can you say to my, hello to my mum, Scotty? Her name is Brenda. Hello, Brenda. So they are Shono. Uh, no, Margaret Thatcher did not kill Bobby Sands, and she should, uh, it's not a question of forgiveness, you know, Bobby Sands starved himself to death. So there you go, that's the facts of it. I'm very sorry to be the bearer of that news. Yes, I'd be in favour of the monarchy and independence, indeed, because remember, you're splitting the parliaments, you never, ever, ever mess with the crown. All right, fantastic stuff. Your eyes are so mesmerizing. I thank you very much. Very kind of you. Uh, yes to independence and keeping the monarchy, absolutely. Hi, Scotty, do you remember me? TTTV, of course I do. Uh, how could I forget you? Come on, the Rangers, God save the Queen. Yes, but remember, 
that the Queen is the Queen of everyone. She's Celtic's Queen. She's St. Johnston's Queen. She's Morton's Queen. She's uh, Hibbs Queen. She's Hart's Queen. She's the Queen of everyone. She's not just to do with football. Have you got it there? Scotty, any hash? Yes. Hashtag Scotty McClue. There you are. Uh, Margaret Thatcher's actions caused Bobby Stan's No, not Margaret Thatcher's actions at all. The actions of the IRA caused Bobby to starve himself to death. Is Sir Alex Ferguson better than... Sir Alex Ferguson is an absolute icon. And you can never, ever, ever take that away from him. When I was working in Aberdeen, the manager of Aberdeen was Sir Alex Ferguson. And we used to sometimes cross paths at public engagements. Then when I went to Manchester for Century Radio, right behind me, where these books are, was Man United. And it was 1998. It was the year when they won everything. A very exciting time to be in Manchester. Sup, Dinky Doo, Dinky Doo, Scotty, how are you doing? I like your hat, thank you very much. Do you support LGBTQ? It should be LGBTQS. You need to add straight to that. Uh, but we don't need that on here because we're all inclusive anyway. So there you are. And it's also, these things can be quite, uh, you know, separatist as well. A Protestant queen means, well, well, you'll only get a Protestant queen unless they repeal the act of secession, or succession, sorry, I should say, which was passed by one vote, only one vote. So there was still a huge lobby to have a Catholic monarch. Yes, indeed. You're totally wrong in this one, Scotty LaHoop. Totally 100% correct. Remember, I know my Irish. I know my Irish history. I know my Irish people. You don't. That's the difference. So never, ever wrong on that one. Think you can go um, a big chipping. Oh, Richard, that's enough. Uh, Aka will call. Thank you so much for sending me TikToks. Very much appreciated. They are, do you know Alex Higgins? I don't actually. Scotty McClure. Um, I'm a Catholic, but preach. What do you preach? Uh, so there we are. Have you ever seen two pretty best friends? Uh, oh, yes, lots of them. Absolutely. I mean, I'm pretty and my best friend is very pretty. She's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, Bill Shankly. Yes, indeed. Bob Paisley. These are greats as well. Angela, good for you. Yes, indeed. Uh, I've never seen that. Aha. Who has sent a diamond? Ah, oh, I might have known. Maria Knight, you absolute princess. Maria has just sent me a huge diamond. Can I just say you're the best? SK8, thank you so much. You are very, very kind. There we are. Scotty, have you been to Garth? It's so nice. Yes. Now, not many people will have been to Garth, but I went to Garth to get the train. You can either go to the Garth, as they call it, or the Ding Walls. That's what they say up there. Well, you'd be better going to the Garth or the Ding Walls. If, if, if you're wanting to go to the Garth, Scotty, it'll drop you there. Oh, that'd be lovely. Thanks very much. So Garth, not many of us have been to Garth, but I have. There we are, fantastic. And uh, there's Graffy, who's obviously a farmer and is talking about bullocks. Tremendous stuff, great beasts. Knowledge knows that, absolutely, Lahoub. I think I might be a bit more than you in the Irish history, mainly because of marriage. No, no, Tom, you're talking to an expert, my boy. So just being Irish doesn't mean you're an expert in your history. There are a lot of Scots that don't know about how the monarchy runs the show. There's a lot of English people don't know their history. A lot of Irish people don't know their history. So sorry, but that little older dad that you've just made up doesn't hold water. Yes, indeed. So I think you might not know. The Battle of Waterloo. What side were you, Scotty? 1815, the Duke of Wellington, the Marquis Wellesley. Scotty, have you been to Garve? It's so nice. Garve's lovely. I know my Irish history inside out. Trust me, studied it for years and then. Well, you, Lahoub, will know McClue is talking the truth. 
spe speaking verity. I saw the waterfalls at Gar, the huge. You tell them, Scotty, I will, I will, my dear fellow. I study as well. Good for you. Um, hello, there's, I, I am Najib from Kenya. Najib, Jambo, Jambo from Kenya. Lovely to have you with us and dinky do. Guys, if you're scrolling through, stop now. You're watching TikTok's Top Talk Show with Scotty McClue. This is the big one. Fantastic. Never miss a second of Scotty McClue or you miss a moment of life. Stay with us. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Follow us as soon as you come on. We need to build up our followers. Do you know the history of the Bear Gates at Trakir? Yes, indeed. They will never be opened again. The Maxwell Stuarts. They will never be opened again until a Stuart King sits upon the throne. That might be Prince Charles, actually. He's got a lot of Stuart in him. Follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. We need a follow fest on here. Tap my picture. Check out every single TikTok video. Now, there's one the other day that's up about the, I think it's the 1500 mark. And we just popped up the other day. It lasts for 15 seconds. So go and have a look at it. It's me telling you that my cherry has popped out. Uh, please elaborate on the gates thing. The bear gates at Trakir House in the Borders. Yes, the home of the Maxwell Stewart family. And these gates were locked. The last time, I think after Charles Edward Stuart left, have they been locked since 1746, guys? Am I right? Still not, Richard. You can still know as much as you like, but at the end of the day, Scotland is going independent. The Queen will still be there. Rangers will still be there. All that, but you need to march under the saltire. Fantastic. The leader of the 1981 hunger strike, which Irish Republic prisoners protested. Yes, of course they did. That's what a hunger strike's about. It's a protest. My grandmother was a suffragette. There we are. My mother was called Christabel after uh, Christabel Pankhurst. Uh, now, what have we got here? Do you love me, uh, Lucy? What a strange question. Thoughts on, well, we'll not go into that, Angela. Um, we don't like to sort of just be mentioning all these individuals willy-nilly. Follow us as soon as you're gone, guys. To support the mission, Free Palestine. Of course we support the mission, Najib, but they need to stop fighting. They need to stop fighting now. There we are. Can you sing, oh lassie, oh I can sing all these things. Have you seen Still Game? They think I was the original inspiration for Still Game. They got the idea from listening to Scotty McClue, watching me on the telly with my flat cap. Anybody get the connection there? Uh, should I support my gay friend Lucy? Um, if you like her as a friend, it's nothing to do, her sexual proclivities are nothing to do with you. So there we are. So if you like her as a friend, support her regardless. There's a moose loose about the hoose. Uh, William says, is he ever off the air? William, why do you watch? Hmm? Tell us that. Come on. Fess up. There's a moose loose about the hoose. Uh, good luck if you finally leave Scotland, by the way. You'll have to start paying for your prescriptions. Not at all, Nat. We don't pay for them just now, and we won't be paying for them when we're independent because we'll have so much money. The Orange Order will be out in force again soon. Well, Jackie, I don't think you could ever call the Orange Order a force. I think they'll be out there a kind of, what can you say? They're a kind of, uh, a wee novelty, a novelty, the Orange Order. But, um, you know, I think if uh, the parade stopped, Nobody would bat an eyelid. I have to be honest about it, but they kind of get excited about it, you know, the crown and the Bible. There we are. Do you support a football team? Not financially, I have to say. No, 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 no. So you sound like something from Batman. Don't know who that is. Thoughts on willy-nilly? Well, we don't discuss thoughts willy-nilly. I'm saying dinky-do. Uh, Scotland will have more debt than recently the UK. Scotland's got zero debt. The UK is the one with the debt. Westminster's got the debt. Scotland doesn't have any debt. Why would it have more debt than Greece when it doesn't have any debt? 
You've just been had your head stuffed with nonsense. So there we are. Do you have an autobiography? If not, will you write one? Holly, do you think people would read it? Dinky do. <laughs> I have been very, very blessed, I have to say. Now, ITV trick shot. Uh, we don't really like these sort of low level, not funny jokes. Uh, so you can do better than that. I won't ban you just now, but have a wee think. Uh, thoughts on me? I'm a simple little Irishman. David, you can't be better than that. One of the finest things in the world. A simple wee Irishman. There we are. Absolutely gorgeous. Sorry. No, not at all. It's just you can do better than that. You know, you're bigger than that. You from Liverpool? No, sadly I'm not. I do love the bones of Liverpool. I used to broadcast to Liverpool every single night, broadcasting to about two million people in Liverpool. Fantastic. I love the bones of the Scousers. There we are. You are very simple, Scotty. I am indeed, Richard, a very uncomplicated man. And that's what we like, isn't it? An untroubled soul. Fantastic. I think people would read it. It's our favourite book on the shelf behind you. Holly, they're all favourite books. These are just a tiny, tiny sample. You know, the house is falling down with books. Incredible. <laughs> That's where we get the knowledge. We read all about that. Yes, indeed. Yes, everything. Hello from Oklahoma, where the wind comes sweeping down the plain. And the waving wheat does sure smell sweet as the um, wind comes right behind the rain. Have I got that? We know we belong to the land, and the land we belong to is grand. <laughs> have I got that right, guys? We love Oklahoma. Can I have a moderator, please? Yes, I'll moderate you. No problem at all. I'm back, says one Chicago fan. We love it. Dinky do. Now, there we go. Who else have we got there? Uh, no, they think they're big men. Ah, Tom, yes. You got it. I thank you very much. Love, love, love to Oklahoma. Um, great to have you with us, guys. No, thanks. I look after you on here, you see. Tremendous. Guys, can everybody go on Scotty McClue's TikTok videos? Partly if you tap my photo at the top, all the videos will come up and you can like them. Tremendous stuff. Uh, will he, nil he? Bet you knew that. I know it's absolutely amazing, isn't it? It's fantastic. <laughs> Are we sup of Adam's ill? Oh, that's delicious. Guys, I'm going to have to dash. I've just realized we're out of time. I can't believe it. Absolutely can't believe it. You know, we pop up and the time just flies. What time are you going to bed? I think I'll push off to bed right now because, uh, you know, I'm up at, uh, at six in the morning. Uh, will we still be independent in the EU? Of course. It's Westminster we're leaving. Yes, that's the problem. Not Brussels. You know, we should never, ever have left Brussels. So, of course, we'll be independent in the EU. Right, I'm going to have to dash, guys. I'll sing you the goodbye song. Are we ready? Is there a live in the morning? There might be if I'm up in time. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Join in. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vita then. Au revoir. And a cheery. Oh, Scotty McClue, sing to every single one of you. Take great care of yourselves. Stay fabulous. It's a lovely thing to be. And um, stay safe, of course. Look after your dear selves. Good night. God bless. Dinky do. And ta la laws. <laughs>